Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, welcome back to another one of my Wednesday streams. I don't know why the Joker music didn't just play there on the uh, countdown. That was really kind of creepy and like ethereal and yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but usually there's happy Joker music. Um, I miss it. So hello, hello. I'm gonna check the comments real quick and see who all is here. Um, got some of the usual suspects like Andrew Cazzini. Hello, interview show. Trace Baker, um, and some new people I, I don't think I've seen before, like um, Abukudeo, hello, <laughs> um, Lego Man McD, hey everybody, all right, um, yeah, so today we are um, going to be playing through some more of the Batman, uh, the Adventures of Batman Robin game for Sega CD, which is known um, by many as the lost episode, because it was uh, essentially... Um, well, it's got cutscenes from the Batman the Animated Series, and it was animated by the same um, production studio that did most of the show. So, um, for all intents and purposes, it kind of is like a lost episode. There's um, 
last week we tried our best to fight Poison Ivy. It was such a difficult game as far as gameplay actually goes. There's a lot of just, uh, it's, it's a car based game. So there's a lot of driving and trying to avoid citizens. And uh, <laughs> it's, um, it was a bit much. Um, so I found out that I have a cheat code where I could, if I get super stuck, I'm just gonna skip ahead to the next cutscene and try to keep going. So. Um, I will make sure to, uh, like right when I start the game today, we'll watch all the cutscenes from last week too, so that'll be kind of a nice like, little five minute mini episode. But yeah, um, hey Mac, <laughs> you're at least 12% here. Cool, me too, <laughs> to be honest. About 12% here. Uh, I shaved the other day, so uh, you know, that's about 12% of me gone. Um, I'm still working on my coffee. I love New York. Yeah, I've been, um, I haven't gotten a lot of sleep this week <clears throat> because I've been prepping for a short film that I'm shooting this weekend. It is about a Bigfoot hunter who, uh, while he's trying to catch Bigfoot, he ends up stepping in his own bear trap and losing his foot. So he has to crawl leatherly back to his camp. <laughs> it's uh, it's going to be pretty fun. Uh, so I'm doing that this weekend. Um, but I've also been like powering through to try to finish a bunch of uh, work for the Watchtower database um, with my next video essay. It's coming out in June. Um, it's going to be about Schumacher, Joel Schumacher's influence on Batman the Animated Series. I did a similar video a couple months ago about Tim Burton and how uh, the Tim Burton Batman movies influenced the development of the anime series and also kind of uh, in the, re well, I was going to say in the reverse there. It's truly more the reverse for Schumacher because Schumacher was influenced by the cartoons. Um, the Burton films were already happening before the cartoons existed. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's my next video and uh, I spent a lot of time the last two days working on that script. But yeah, um, actually no, my next video I did do a uh, review for the Justice Society World War II movie that just came out last week. Uh, it's, the it's the newest uh, DC animated original movies. Uh, release and it's really good. I really liked it. It's um definitely it's continuing the the new continuity that was established in Superman Man of Tomorrow. So um oh, it's fun. If you like those characters, fan of the JSA, Wonder Woman, World War Two, <laughs> I think I think you might like it. It's good stuff. But cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Hans. <laughs> That's a tricky move there. <laughs> Very tricky move. Uh, I don't think I got anything else to say. You know, um, we just released this huge endeavor, the Batman The Adventures Continue Will It Can a video on Sunday, and uh, we had a very successful live premiere here on YouTube for that. Um, almost like a, a little over, around 500 people, I think, were, were in the live chat with us at one point. So if you were there, we really appreciate you tuning in live uh, with the rest of us for that. It was a lot of fun, 15-minute uh, video event. Uh, we're hoping to do more later in the year. We've got some plans to continue the um, the, the lore of the, the channel and uh, hopefully bring things to a close by the end of the year. As far as the lore goes, we're, we're obviously still making videos and stuff, but... Um, and not like, not that we'd be done with all the lore, but bringing the season of the lore to a close. But yeah. So, Andrew Cazzini, I also like Batman Forever, um, and I realized that when I rewatched it, it was a lot more fun than I expected it would be. Um, I hadn't seen it in years, and I was very, uh, like, it felt like a chore, <laughs> honestly, going into both of those to, to rewatch them uh, as research. And Batman and Robin kind of was that chore, but there were still like aspects of the, of the both movies that that I've caught myself looking at, being like, okay, that's like kind of cool, or like a interesting take, or or like um like for instance, I thought the way that Arkham Asylum was handled in Batman and Robin was actually really fun. It was it's like this huge skyscraper, you know, that's like in the clouds rather rather than um yeah, just being this facility on the outskirts. It still was, but it was, it was very interesting. Was that the end of the adventures? Continue, will it canon? Um, so 
I don't know yet if there will be one for um, Batman the Adventures Can You uh, Season 2. It doesn't feel like there necessarily needs to be. Um, I can say there will be more Bullet Cannon episodes for sure. There's, uh, I'm not going to spoil which ones will be, but I, I can say like there might be four that, that I know of on top of my head that, that we want to talk about eventually. So um, there will be more Will Cannon, and there will be more Adventures Continue coverage as Season 2 comes out, which the first digital issue is actually out tonight, uh, or tomorrow morning, however you want to think about it. It's basically um, midnight Pacific time. You can get the first digital chapter for Batman the Adventures Continue Season 2, um, so the stuff with Dead Man and the, uh, the preview pages that we've seen that, that is out tonight. Um, you can go in Comixology like I did, and you can subscribe to the series, um, so it just charges you and, uh, and adds it to your library as soon as it's immediately available. And um, Comixology will send you an email and say, hey, this is out now. And they'll give you an email a couple days in advance, too, to give you a heads up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you know what? That's all I got to say. You know, keep the comments coming. Um, I'll do my best to answer some questions as I go. Uh, and I will jump into the game now. Okay, yeah, we're good. So I, uh, last week I got really caught up on the, the fact that Poison Ivy had these two hench people um, called Violet and Lily. And uh, I realized a couple days later that they are from the Eternal Youth episode. Um, they are part of the anime series and I just totally forgot about it. Okay, so we'll watch all the cutscenes. cool okay and I've got a secret code here that'll let me skip to the next cutscene make it easy on yourselves ladies where's your pretty boss Battery will get you nowhere, Batman, except to an early grave. <laughs>
This part's brutal. Okay, and for the next cutscene... Kidnap Commissioner Gordon. What I can tell you is that while our dear Dark Knight was chasing me, two of his closest allies were being abducted. Commissioner Gordon and Batman's own partner, Robin. Where are they? That's for you to find out. Hopefully before they're executed. Take the flower girl downtown and grill her. I want some answers. Don't look so glum, Batman. It's all part of the game. Mm, part of the game. Ivy said it's all part of the game. That's pretty obvious her hint was about. The Riddler. And this is where we pick up today. All right, let's uh, let's see what happens here. I've decided that if um, for some reason, oh hold on, I got I gotta fix the sound just a little bit. Okay, actually, okay, this should be back now. But I'm gonna get to it down just there. Okay, so um, I decided that if for some reason that I get stuck, like I did yesterday with the, the poison, or not yesterday, last week, um, like I did with the poison ivy, like trees and bushes and stuff that were in my way for so long, I'm just gonna skip ahead to the next cutscene, and um, I'm gonna give it my best try. I'm gonna do it as long as I can, but if it's getting old, I have no problem skipping the end of the level. Chris Anderson, I also noted that Poison Ivy's leggings disappeared for like a split second in that um, cutscene. We're doing a, um, a video on the Watchtower database here pretty soon that's all about uh, like animation errors, sort of like that, little um, mistakes here there. We're just gonna call them all out because they're kind of funny. So that's probably a good one to add to that. Okay, here we go, to the toy store. I'm assuming I need to blow these up because they have Riddler question marks on them. Maybe I can pass them though. I'm gonna try doing that. Okay, yeah. It's working a little bit. Whoops. So I'm gonna start just... I'm not gonna blow them up. I'll just try to... Yeah. time. Okay, well, let's try that again. Actually, this time I'm gonna, I'm just gonna make a quick save. Oh, you know, I already have one. I'm just gonna load that. <laughs> the moment when you realize that the, uh, that doing that just now is actually one less life than what I just had, so whatever. Won't waste any time this time just trying to blow them up. Uh. 
Well, this game is so easy. This is just like how I drive in real life. Time's up again, huh? Alright, well maybe it's not so easy. Stage two, this is where I will save. <laughs> Justin Horowitz says, I wonder if the original animation cells for these cutscenes exist. It'd be a cool bonus feature for a Blu-ray. Yeah, that would be really cool. <laughs> Star Louis, don't, don't carpool with that. Yeah, I don't know. My friends could probably tell you I do, um, I drive very, very safely and carefully. Ah, that was satisfying. All right, there's a helicopter up there, and I don't think there's any way for me to blow that up. I did get that car, though. Oh, it's a little helicopter. That was weird. What a weird sound effect coming from that car. these things. I thought they were like similar to Poison Ivy stuff that she was dropping. They're like giant brain bombs or something like that. I cannot tell. They look like grenades? Definitely something out of my nightmares. I barely made it to stage three. Take it though. Batman gets a lot of traffic tickets, and for them, with his with his back, and pays for them with his back credit card. That is true. He's got that Batman Forever card. I saw the movie. I forgot I had this um, car boost thing. 
I need to use that move more often. Okay, I died. But it's cool. Oh, that's a bad spot. We've all been there, stuck between two trucks. I'm about to die. Oh, I did die. Okay, stage four. Stage five, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> Andrew Cassini likes to imagine some sitting at red lights, some kid in the next car looks over and says, look, mommy, it's Batman. Well, that it's doing everything his power not to be seen. Yep, I'm sure that's happened. As soon as the kid says, look, mommy, the lights are green and Batman turns off and says, there's no such thing as Batman, sweetie. That would be a fun scene to see. Batman is to moms like Santa Claus. And I'm sorry to anyone in the comments who didn't know that. Those little helicopter things are hard.
Yeah, those helicopter things will not um, stop hitting me <laughs> when you get to that point. again the answer might be to dodge the helicopters first and then hit the car when I'm a little closer to it Yeah, I was doing a good, better job that time anyway. I beat the car. I got past the far right. Okay, go ahead and save. We're getting close. It's hard to tell, like, how much I was really hurting him.
there's like a little yellow line that you can kind of see where he's firing the machine gun. So the goal is just to not be in that path. Yeah, dodging those helicopters. <laughs> the DCEU kind of tackles the issue of larger than life figures on the roadways in Joker's favor. We saw how that turned out. All the flashing explosions are disorienting. Yes, I agree on both of those things. This is a very tricky game to play because of all the um, flashing explosions. Oh, I just passed the, yeah. I, sh I should not pass the truck I'm trying to kill. I'm just landing hits on it now though. Like, it's not even trying to hit me anymore. That was... That was ridiculously easy. <laughs> Look at that purple dinosaur. That's Barney. So, well Barney in the DCAU cannon. Night. is a lot like the episode what is reality one of the other uh, adventures of batman robbing games did this too I'm just gonna go ahead to save i call this one vr the um which one was it i guess because this is the fourth one i played i've done the super nintendo it wasn't that one i've done game gear i think it might have been game gear the other one was Sega Genesis. Yeah, it was the Game Gear version that, that had a similar. Okay, anyway, here we go. Virtual Arcade. Like, if I could just fire down the middle, that, that would be nice. I don't think it's gonna work like that though. Yeah. 
Do it. Maybe I should use my break button a little more often. That might help me out. When you hit one, it really pushes you back. Okay, so it's like, so I need to aim towards the circles because the circles are sort of moving back and forth where the X's stay still. Figuring out the strategy behind it, though. Dude, that was bad. It's hard to tell, like, how far I was really getting. Let me try that again. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to give this one more try, then I'm going to maybe skip the stage. I don't know.
Uh, it's so hard to get past this part. Okay. Well. I think I am going to skip it. And I hope y'all don't mind. I did cheat. <laughs> Are you okay? Fine. But your partner might not be so lucky. According to Riddler, the Joker's holding Robin at the old Land of Laughs amusement park. I'll clean up here. Thanks. <laughs> well, don't just sit there, Beth. If you want to see Mr. J, you gotta follow me. Yowza, yowza, ladies and germs. Let's have a big Lando laughs welcome for your pal and his Batman. <laughs> I'm delighted to see you've made it this far. But then I knew those other losers couldn't put you out of action. At least, not like I can. <laughs> like a Mario Kart. I don't know if these are supposed to be recognizable characters, though, but... Where's Robin, you lunatic? He's nearby. All you have to do is get past my bumper car, and the bird boy is yours. But be careful. One little bomb, and boom! You're Quabo! Okay. Bumper Safari. Let's see. Just three laps. And I'm not supposed to bump anything, apparently. Oh no, I can bump something. Alright, this level's actually kind of cool. Oh, there's buzz saws.
All right, last lap. Yeah, I'll shoot a couple missiles, see what happens. I don't know if that really helped. It's probably helping a little bit. I got this, I got this. Oh, there's a stage two. Of course there is. Of course there is. That's blowing up the animals, but I just gotta gotta believe that they're robots. Uh oh. Oh, the spikes got me. I'm gonna reload lap two. Just fly over some animals. I don't know if that really helped me. That actually kind of <laughs> that felt like it didn't help.
Well, I did it again anyway. That time went ever better. One lap to go. I see now taking that jump would have helped me avoid the um, the rhino charge. Stage three, stage three. Another three laps. Those zebras have uh, Joker smiles on them. That's kind of cool, kind of creepy. Not doing very healthy. Okay, yeah, and I just died in my last lap to go. Let me refresh it. Check some comments here real quick. So Joker kidnapped all three Robins in the DCAU. Yeah, this is very true. The soundtrack reminds me a little bit of Batman Beyond, at least in this level here. But yeah, I can see some 90s Spider-Man. If I mean I'm killed, not even animals. They gotta be robots. Okay. I just have to believe these are robot animals. I mean, how many zebras and rhinos can you get in Gotham City anyway? Ooh, these things are... I don't like that. I did not like how they moved on me. Okay. 
So again, I don't know if there's any way I'm going to make it to stage three. Because in the middle of, um, I mean stage four, because in the middle of lap two, it really um, it does some damage on me when I run into those walls. So I'm just going to try to take it with um, less speed this time around and hope that that helps me. Because I think there is something to be said about slowing down for this part. Even though th they move on you, so you don't want to slow down too much. Either that or I should just like try to count for the move. And just drive where I think it's going to be. We got giraffes all up in here. My death. I did make it made to lap three though. Yeah. Okay. Let's try it again. I think if I can't beat it this time around, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna skip it. I told y'all at the beginning of the stream I'm not above that. <laughs> Some of these older games, like um, this one, for instance, and the Sega Genesis version, are just so tricky. And I am definitely not a professional gamer. <laughs> it may seem like it, because I'm here on, on the live stream playing a game, but um, I'm sure if you've been following with me for a couple weeks, you can attest that I am not a professional gamer. Moving on. We are moving on here. Am I glad to see you? Same here. What if that was a Mr. Wayne costume?
I want that thing shot down now. We're trying, sir. <laughs> We've seen a lot of these um, two bit thugs before. <laughs> you don't see the, the grapple used like that very often. Actually, Thorns has no part in this. He's been out of town for weeks. But if you're not Rupert Thorn, you must be. Mm. Clayface. It was the perfect scheme, Batman. With Thorn out of the picture, it was easy for me to take his place. The only thing that kept me from running Gotham into the ground was you. So you hired the others to take care of us. I guess if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Clayface explains the uh, lack of the green shirt. <laughs> Thorne's not wearing his usual green shirt. <laughs> like those little claw hands. No! No! Down the drain. <laughs> so long, Bat. Once I'm back in Gotham, I'll just melt into the crowd. <laughs> I think this is about to become a um, an airplane fight. Yep.
Batman is going to make the Gotham City Department of Transportation buy all sorts of new road signs after this. I have barely made it to stage two. Okay, that was easy enough. <laughs> Stage three. There are more of the signs. Stage four. I beat the helicopter already, whichever one that was. Stage five. I'm kind of going through this one fast, which is refreshing. <laughs>
barely made it to stage six. Oh no! I died. We start stage six again. I don't know if I can actually destroy those cars. Like, I'm trying to. Like, I know, obviously, I can destroy the helicopter, and that's, like, part of my goal. But those cars on the ground... I think this time around, I'm gonna just try to ignore the cars. To see what happens. They got me again. Let's try that again this time. Um, a little less explosions. <laughs> a little less damage on the uh, the bowing. If I can help it. I was doing pretty good that time, too. I think I got the helicopter. I'm gonna I'm gonna save real quick here just in case. And 
I died. I was trying to see if I could just, um, I'm gonna try again, but to see if I can just, like, outrun these cars, basically. Like, I don't know if I have to destroy them, if I even can destroy them. Yeah, I think I do have to destroy them, or so it would seem. Okay. Let me see if I can destroy them in 30 seconds. Sorry, I'm just experimenting real quick to see if there's like, if I'm missing a button or something. I don't think so. Just wondering if I had like... Okay, I did kill one car. Something's working that I'm doing. Good job, Robin. Now there's more. Okay. Good. So I think I know what I need to do. I have to start back stage six. And I have to uh, kill this thing a lot a lot faster. Okay, so I destroyed those. I have 25 seconds left to beat these two. Let's try this. They killed me, I guess, instead. Hold on. Wow, so that save file I just made is really, like one hit and I'm dead situation. I'm gonna try it again though. I'm gonna keep trying this save file I just did and see what happens. Might just get lucky and keep dodging things. Yeah, awesome. I did it. Okay, so um, this is the final clay face bit. He's now in range.
Uh, almost had him. I'm not trying to brag, but I think I've gotten pretty good at this. At least this Batwing level. I don't see any more bad, guy, bad guys on Lila. And I don't see a timer. So... I'm just gonna try to coast and not crash. Maybe I'll have a boss fight in a second. I'm gonna take a second to pause here. Or not to pause, but to save. Ah, uh, there it is. Must be Clayface. I beat him. Awesome. And there we go. That's the game, everybody. I'm going to reset it in a second and just play through all the cutscenes so we can watch them all back to back just for fun. Uh, but that was fun. I'm glad I like actually was able to beat the final level. That <laughs> makes me feel better for skipping the earlier stuff with the Riddler. Um, just because that was being really tricky. All right, catch up on some of y'all's comments here. Keep Sega CD Clayface a secret. Yes, we should. <laughs> Will Batman shooting a guy with a cannon cannon? Now that is the question. Yeah, so uh, um, Clayface being here means it is after Feet of Clay, of course, but before Mudslide. Mudslide is always um, a difficult one to place because of... Um, like any further appearances of Clayface in any other Batman anime series media, the just existence of the episode Mudslide makes it really difficult because of the way that we leave him at the end, presumably dead. Uh, yeah. Um. <laughs> So Andrew Cassini, when um, <laughs> when he says good job, Robin, that means we have a, a new subscriber. 
So thank you all for the new subscribers. Good job, Robin. He's He was doing some killer work there in the back of the bat plane. Yeah, yeah. Um, but cool. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just start this back and play through all the cutscenes. And that'll be the end of our stream today. So here we go. Make it easy on yourselves, ladies. Where's your pretty boss? <gasps> Flattery will get you nowhere, Batman. Except to an early grave. <laughs> But here's an old favorite I brought just for you. This should have been enough foreshadowing about Clayface being the final boss. On the contrary, Batman. Your ordeal is just beginning. Hold it! Hand her over, Bats. We just got word one of your old enemies kidnapped Commissioner Gordon. What I can tell you is that while our dear Dark Knight was chasing me, two of his closest allies were being abducted. Commissioner Gordon and Batman's own partner, Robin. Where are they? That's for you to find out. <laughs> Hopefully before they're executed. Take the flower girl. The missing tights. I want Taste some the answers. missing tights. Don't look so glum, Batman. It's all part of the game. For that one shot, it's like, I mean, yeah, she's suddenly missing her green tights. It's just flesh colored. It happens sometimes. Ivy said it's all part of the game. That's pretty obvious, 
Professor Hint was about. The Riddler. But we also just saw all the other villains of the game <laughs> that he just um, clicked through. Rescue your Commissioner Gordon. Here's a riddle. How am I like Batman? You notice the uh, nutcrackers in the background from the uh, Christmas the Joker episode? They're there. We're both dummies. <laughs> Andrew Cassini, that would be a wild situation. So I'm actually gonna play. No, I'm I'm not gonna play this level. I thought about it. No, I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> I'm done for the day. No, you burned out the program. You cheated. be so lucky. According to Riddler, the Joker's holding Robin at the old Land of Laughs amusement park. I'll clean up here. Thanks. This is a really similar set piece to um, where Joker kidnapped Jason Todd and the adventures continue. Ladies and germs, let's have a big Lando laughs welcome for your pal and his Batman. <laughs> I'm delighted to see you've made it this far, but then I knew those other losers couldn't put you out of action, at least not like I can. <laughs> Robin, you lunatic. 
lunatic. He's nearby. All you have to do is get past my bumper car, and the bird boy is yours. But be careful. One little bump, and boom! Your quarto. I don't think we've seen those teddy bears before. I'm not sure. <laughs> that chicken. <laughs> Am I glad to see you? Same here. Look out! Calling the shots. The guy's been a thorn in your side for some time. <laughs> mm. It must be Floronic Man. It all figures. Who else has the cash to hire talent like the Riddler and Joker but Rupert Thorne? Ah, oh, Rupert Thorne. Thorns wanted to take us out of action for years. There's his gambling ship dead ahead. Ah! Looks like Rupert doesn't want us coming any closer. Too bad. I want that thing shot down now. It looks just like Lex Luthor's suit from um, Superman the Amazing Series. That had me thinking about his green shirt. Next time it shows Thorn, check that out. It looks very Luthor. They must shop at the same place. Actually, Thorne's had no part in this. He's been out of town for weeks. But if you're not Rupert Thorne, you must be... Clayface. It was the perfect scheme, Batman. With Thorne out of the picture, it was easy for me to take his place. The only thing that kept me from running Gotham into the ground was you. So you hired the others to take care of us. I guess if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself.
<laughs> That's so gross. <laughs> Clayface takes on some really interesting shapes in this episode. Cannon. There it is. That's how you know. Okay. Final cutscene. All right, so that's all the credits, <laughs> all the cutscenes and stuff. Uh, you know what? That does kind of look like Big Bird. I'm gonna have to look back at that later. Yeah, so there, there was a um, Batmobile replica that I saw recently. I, I'm sure it was the same one. It was pretty cool. Andrew Cazzini says, "I know the B-Task Batmobiles generally preferred to the tin the." to the TNBA Batmobile, but I recently saw the uh, real-life replica of the TNBA one, and it translates better to real life. I'd have to agree. It looked pretty cool. Either way, I mean, it'd just be awesome to have a car like that. <laughs> well, cool. Um, so that is the lost episode. The Adventures of Batman and Robin on Sega CD. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in today. Um, I had a lot of fun with that one. I'm glad, uh, glad it wasn't too hard to beat. Um, I'm also glad I figured out how to skip through the game while still um, checking out all the cutscenes and stuff. So that was nice. Uh, what else? What, what can I tell you all that's coming up? Um, Trace Baker asked, do you think the cutscenes amount to the length of an actual episode? No, um, that was definitely, that felt like, what, 10 minutes just now maybe? It was about 10 minutes, so about half an episode. Uh, yeah, but it's still really cool to see. It's always fun to see, like, you know, the original voice cast all back for something like that. Um, you know, that's why they call it the lost episode. <laughs> so you can watch it in its entirety on, um, it's uploaded to YouTube. We don't have it on the Watchtower database, but, um, you know, you didn't hear it from me, but there might be a little canon episode on this one. Let's see that. You can, uh, we, we got it on the list somewhere. But yeah. So, so we'll be talking more about this episode real soon and getting, um, getting more in-depth about it. Probably sometime next year. But yeah. So, um, like I said, I've got some upcoming stuff. Um, this next Sunday, Maddie's presenting a video all about what we know so far on Batman The Adventures Continue Season 2 and Justice League Infinity. Uh, so you can look for that on Sunday, presented by Maddie. And like I said, the first chapter of uh, Batman the Adventures Continue comes out tonight at midnight Pacific time, 3 p.m. Eastern. So if you, um, if you 
want to you know read that on comiXology and for digital reading you can do that uh, tonight or tomorrow and it comes out in print I believe June sometime in June it's early June that you can read the full print issue but yeah starting to tonight it's every every week every um, Wednesday Wednesday midnight Thursday morning however you want to think about it for the next week for the next few weeks every week in a row is going to be either Batman the Adventures continue season two or Justice League Infinity um, on alternating weeks. So we are uh, here at the Watch Saturday database getting really prepared to dive into all that stuff and to do similar um, comic breakdowns like we did last year for uh, the Adventures Continue Season 1. Uh, so yeah, this should be a lot of fun. I'm really excited for both of those series. Can't wait to read uh, the first half of um, Adventures Continue Season 2 tonight. Yeah, um, after, after Maddie's video this Sunday, uh, the next week, I believe is going to be my review on Justice Society World War II. So it's coming real soon. And then I think we are, I think it's the week after that, we are going to start our coverage on uh, the Adventures of the Season 2. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff to look forward to. We actually, you know what, we might squeeze in. Um, we recently did an interview with a uh, screenwriter, um, Rich Fogel who wrote um, a lot of the New Gods oriented episodes for Superman and the Anime series and Justice League. He did Apocalypse Now, he did, um, he did Twilight and Justice League and a bunch of other cool stuff. Uh, so we got to interview him a couple of months ago now. Was, I think it was back in March and I think we're going to put that interview out at the end of this Any month ideas? as well. So yeah, we got some cool stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I'm, I'm just finishing up my script here on this uh, Joel Schumacher um, influence on Batman the Mini series and vice versa. And that's another big thing you can look for me, um, look from me, probably in the beginning of June. I can't think of anything else to tell y'all. You know, um, go check out patreon.com slash DCAU Watchtower. Y'all know the drill. You see it at the end of every video. That's a great way to support us watching these streams when, when we go live like I did today. That's uh, that's always a helpful thing too. I love seeing everyone in the comments every time we do this, you know, keep engaging. It's a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun. I hope you're having a lot of fun. Next week, I guess we can talk about next week because um, now that I beat the Adventures of Batman and Robin on Sega CD, I should talk about what I'm doing next. I'm probably gonna do another round of Flash Player games. I've got at least three more I can do immediately um you know i've got like six more i can do I, I still need to figure out how to run dcr files here on my laptop um in exe files i know if i use like the trick is probably just running a, another um operating system here but I, I just don't really want to put my laptop through that so that's probably gonna wait until i get a pc to run some of these other games like i'm talking about like batman and crime wave or um batman beyond evolution of evil I've also got like the Batman Superman Adventures Gone with Doom. These are all games I can't seem to run on my laptop yet, but I have them and hopefully will in the future. Um, but yeah, so probably another round of Flash Player games next week, like Riddler's Secret Identity Generator. Um, I have a Superman Metropolis Defender game and one called Batman Stunts that I don't think is an official game, but it's one of those, you know, you ride the motorcycle around and do stunts and it'd be kind of fun. So I think after that, I'm probably going to end up doing Batman Rise of Sinzu for the Game Boy Advance, and then probably Justice League Chronicles for Game Boy Advance. I just recently figured out um, a way, I've got this Shadowcast device that essentially um, will convert HDMI into a USB input. So I can, um, and I've successfully done this already, I can run my Xbox 360 into my laptop and stream straight from that, so I'll be able to do the console versions of um, Rise of Sinzu that way. And I've also got Justice League Heroes by Dwayne, that was written by Dwayne McDuffie, so that's one of the ones in the future I will, I will do that way as well. Um, and I have a workaround system to convert my PlayStation 2 into uh, HDMI. So on there, I can run the Batman Beyond Return of the Joker game, I can do Batman Vengeance, Superman Shadow of Apocalypse, and I have got them City Racer, but I'm having some like technical difficulties getting that one to run right now. So I'm hoping I can uh, stream that one at some point as well. 
But uh, but yeah, it'll be really exciting to actually like get around to these console versions of the games. Because um, like I said, I'm probably gonna do the Game Boy Advance version of Rise of Sinzu in two weeks. I think I'll start that one. But um, I do have the capability now to stream the Xbox console version in the future. So I am excited to sort of upgrade to these sort of higher tier, uh, you know, DCAU level games. There's been some talk. I know James Strecker's recent uh, James is interested in doing um, Batman Arkham City with the Batman the Animated Series skin. Um, so he might do that, I don't want to step on his toes, but I do have that, uh, I've got Arkham City, I've got, um, maybe I'll do it in the Batman Beyond skin, I've got the could be like just a little bit different to it. But I've also got uh, Batman Arkham Origins, so maybe I'll play that one. Um, but yeah, I'm starting to get to the point where I'm running out of DCAU games. Uh, it's still, I mean, I'm probably going to be set through you know, a couple more months for sure, but it's good there. Um, so I will start to transition into. Um, I'll, I'll probably still play some more DC games, but just you know, they just won't be the AU. But yeah, so um, that's my plan. <laughs> the season two breakdowns will be a lot of fun. I'm really excited for those as well. And the, uh, yeah, the, um, I don't think, I don't know if it's hardcover, the collection for Batman and the Adventures Continue. I know if you go onto Monica Cabina's Instagram page, you can see her flipping through a copy of it that she has, and I'm pretty sure it is paperback, but I'm, I'm also really excited to own that. Uh, it looks like in that preview that she shared, you can actually see some of Titan Titan's designs that I don't think we've seen before, so there'll be some cool behind the scenes images in that uh, Adventures Continue. Oh, Trace, thank you so much. This is, uh, he said, this has been, um, definitely been his favorite game to watch me play. I have been really excited to play this one, and I was a little worried my laptop couldn't run it, so I was very happy that everything went pretty smoothly, and uh, and I think it was a lot of fun to watch all the cutscenes back to back as well. Yeah. Andrew Cazine says, maybe at some point you can do the Batman Mask of the Phantasm level of LEGO DC Supervillains. Yeah, I would love to play LEGO DC Supervillains. It's on my list. Um, I... Basically, I, I would love to just like play it through the whole thing and, and you know just kind of meander around uh, and do it live. But I need to get a modern game system before I do that. I, I really would love to get a PS5 when those are finally available. Um, you know that don't cross an arm and a leg. So I've kind of got my um, I've got my eyes on that. Or um, I'm currently planning to build a PC here in the next couple months. And if I can get that running effectively too, that could open uh, open me up to you know stuff like that as well. Yeah, cool. Up, oh, Trace. Cool. <laughs> See you later, um, everybody. I'm probably gonna go ahead and sign off as well. Um, thanks again for tuning in today. A lot of awesome things to look forward to here uh, on the Watchtower database in the next couple weeks and months. Um, tomorrow, Maddie will be here doing his read through for the Just Like Speed Trap novelization that he's working through. And then Saturday, he'll probably be back doing more Batman Beyond comic books and determining their community. I know James really wants to come back and start doing more of the Just Like Unlimited comics. I have no doubt that'll happen sooner than later. He's keeping real busy editing videos and taking care of his baby. So he will come back when he's ready and it'll be awesome. We're also talking about relaunching the 13th Level Intellects podcast with all three of us really soon. Um, that's something we really have to do in the next two or three months. Um, come back probably on Monday nights and do a live podcast discussion here on uh, YouTube and Twitch. And, uh, you know, it'd be great. Y'all can be in the comments. You can sort of be a part of the podcast live while it's happening. So I think that'll be a lot of fun. And of course, it'll be available to listen to and relaunch. Uh, channel on YouTube later. So yeah, go check out the Pod Tower. That's where all the archives of these streams are stored. Um, it's our new channel that we are also doing in collaboration with Tim Talk and DCAU Review. So all these live streams and stuff, they go live over there. Watch Tower Database, it's, just, it's its own thing over there, but the Pod Tower is over there. So um, go check that out. And I'm also, before everyone leaves, I am trying to start a newsletter so I can, um, 
like I don't just do these YouTube streams and videos for Watchtower. I am um, a short film writer, director, producer. I'm working in comic books and stuff. So I, I really want to have a platform to talk more about that kind of stuff, <laughs> you know, and share it with everyone who tunes in for these streams. So you can go to tedkendrick.substack.com and that is, uh, you can go there, sign up for my newsletter. It hasn't started yet, but I'm probably going to do the first one in uh, the next couple of days and then try to put a new one out every two or three weeks. So it comes straight to your inbox. It'll be short, sweet, personal. have all the links and video embedded stuff and whatever, whatever I want to share with you. I'm probably going to end up doing like recommendations for movies I like, um, music, all sorts of things. So um, if you want to get to know me better and uh, see other parts of my life, I would love if um, some of y'all signed up for that newsletter. Again, it is subs or sorry, it is tedkendrick.substack.com. You can put a slash welcome at the end of that, but substack.tedkendrick.com will be enough. So yeah, I'd love to see some people sign up for that. It's free. It'll be a lot of fun. Cool. All right. Bye everybody. Restore the Whedon verse. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, I do know what that means. <laughs> I've tried to tune that out of my my brain. Just the fact that that version of the movie exists. I'm sorry. It's it's um not not my thing. Um, I will just leave it at that. All right. Bye for real. I'll see you all next Wednesday for some more Flash Player games. Have a good one.